Okay, second experiment is to look at the expansion of liquids, and in this case, the liquid we're going to look at is water. Right? So our setup is all we need is a test tube, or in this case, it's a little bit fatter than a test tube, so it's called a boiling tube. What's the piece on top called? A thistle form. So all we want to do is put water into the boiling tube, put the stopper on it, thistle funnel there, and when you heat up the water, what should happen? It rises. It happens fairly slowly, so what you want to do is mark it at the beginning. So Amelia, I don't know if you can focus on this, but we've just got a little uh, tie, an elastic tie is what it's called. Let me slip it up here. Perfect. You get that? Yeah. So what we do is we can slip that down here to begin with, so I know where it's starting, and then as I heat up the water, it'll rise up, so I know exactly how much it's risen up by. Okay? A couple of things you've got to be careful about here. And let's come over here and explain it. Stefan. Um, we tilted this off to the side. Why do we tilt it to the side? Uh, because these bubble things can come to the Okay, very good. So that's exactly, you want to move it away from the chain as much as possible. You can focus on that, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the second thing we want to know is, but let's say I do it like that now, right? Now, as I heat it up, the water is going to rise up here. But it mightn't be because the liquid is rising. What might be the problem? The air is rising. The air is rising, or the air is expanding. Air expands much more than water. So if you've got a lot of air in there, it's the air that's pushing down, and as a result, the water is going back in. So you want to have as little air in there as possible. Okay. But apart from that, the rest of it is straightforward. We mark it. So we mark it at the beginning. Did you? Yeah. 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 And certainly, once it gets up to here, you want to stop it. You just want to see it expanding. So you don't want it to come out the top because then it's getting dangerous. You're getting water spill. And the next thing you want to show is that water expands when heated. How will you show it contracts when it cools down? Just leave it alone for a minute or two and it will cool down. You could wrap a wet cloth around it, and that by itself you should show it coming down. So wet, get the wet tissues, put it around the outside, and you should see it coming down. That if it's too dangerous, you don't have to worry about it. It will come down by itself. So just to show you, if you don't mind, Pippa, just leaving that back in here. The box for this, again, all it needs is one box. A wrap for the test tubes and these wooden tongs in order to grab these in case they're too hot. Okay, and we need four sets of them, and that's all we need for this little experiment. Okay, the last one, we'll move on to down here. Uh, everyone's okay with that? The last one, we'll move on to down here. I should have said, one way of making the water more visible would have been to do what with it? You could put in a little bit of food dye just to begin with, so you see it rising up a little bit more. Uh, we're now back to this one. So this is the expansion of air. So again, there's four sets of apparatus. And the set of apparatus here consists of the following, a hair dryer, and just a round bottom flask, a tube coming out of it, and some water. So we have four hair dryers, so they're going to go into one tray, and then the other apparatus is going to go into the other tray. So everything here, four sets of apparatus, is here. While people are finished, what you're going to do is you do the experiment for five minutes, and then we rotate. So the back bench goes up to the second bench, Peter. Second bench goes up to the top bench. Top bench comes back down here to the back bench. And we'd repeat the next experiment. If you're waiting, you can have your hardback copies out and you can start drawing your diagram for the equipment. Okay? So it should all go fairly smoothly. This experiment can't be turned on until everybody knows what they're doing because otherwise it makes too much noise. So this is can be quite annoying, so you only need to have it ready when everybody knows what they're doing. But here's a setup we have got one, two, three, and this is the last one over here. So we can demonstrate what, what should happen here? The air should expand. Air should expand. How will we see the air expanding? You can't. You can't. So what do we notice, Peter? The bubbles coming out of the water. You notice the bubbles coming out of the water. So do you want, just want to demonstrate it there for just 30 seconds? So you're focusing on this one. Can you see the bubbles? Yeah. And we let it run for 30 seconds. And I let it in afterwards. So we'll just let it run. How long do you have to let it run for before it starts sucking back up? It won't start sucking back up. Till when? It'll stop taking bullets. Oh, yeah. Well, you just probably don't have to go that far. Well, in fact, what I would like here, I'll get a little bit of food dye while you're still there.
because something unusual is going to happen, at this stage, a lot of the air there has been pushed out. So because a lot of air is being pushed out, the atmospheric pressure is still pressing down on this. In fact, what we could do to speed things up is we try and get, because now what we want to do is compress that as much as possible. So we're going to get cold air to cool it down. So I cool it down. There's a cold air. Any day now. There we go. Are we just turn it off again, Chris, if you could rise up? So at this stage, it's cooling down. So the atmospheric pressure is pressing down on the water. We had not so much a vacuum, but certainly there's less air in there than there was before because some of it expanded and moved out. And as a result, there's room now for the water to go back up there. So what you're demonstrating is that the air expanded when it was heated, and as a result, the bubbles came out, and it contracted when it's cooled because the air got squeezed in like this. There's less air in there, so there's less pressure in there, so it's easier for the atmosphere to push liquid back in like that. Okay? So that's the expansion of solids, liquids, and gases. If it's done properly, it can all be done in a 40-minute class once everybody's organized. Any questions? Is there anything I should have said that I didn't say? Uh -uh. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for putting up with all of that. <laughs> if you're ready, we're done. I am exhausted. Okay, we know what we need to do in three minutes. Stop.